big machine is not out there now. That's right. a hard throw. Right machine right is there. still down in Florida. That's right. Two-two. Roach to Blair. Sweet. That'll do it. That'll do it. Here comes Randall. That'll do it. Yankees win the ball game. Four-three. What a ball game. And for Billy Martin, again, the placement of personnel worked out. He put Blair in for defensive reasons in the night. It was Blair who came through with the game-winning hit, just as he came through with a big hit in the Sunday and final game against Kansas City in the ninth inning. Two brilliantly matched teams in a superbly played ball game. No errors by either team of commission. One of omission by Chris Chambliss. Keep the winning it again. Blair with a two and two count. Rick Roden looks back at second base where the winning one is located. Blair jumps on the fence, drills it to left field. Willie Randolph came pumping around third. Rick Roden is the losing pitcher. Sparky Lyle is the winning pitcher. And the final score in this first game of the 1977 World Series, Yankees four, Dodgers three, and Paul Blair, who was so important in the Yankees winning the American League pennant, delivers the blow, and he is the man of the moment. As you look down on Yankee Stadium, where the people are still standing, almost in awe as to what they have just seen.